Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Well, I became a police officer to protect the city of Rialto and try to give the people of Rialto the same chance I had when I was growing up in Rialto. And I had a great opportunity to uh, go to nice schools and nice little leagues and develop myself in the city, and I think everybody should uh, have that chance. And right now we just got dispatched to a uh, domestic dispute where the husband is ramming his wife's vehicle while driving on Foothill Boulevard. We're driving westbound. They should be up here in the area somewhere. The unit at 612, uh, be number one and I'll call it out. Call 10. We're uh, in pursuit, both vehicles. Eastbound Foothill, approaching Cactus. Okay, the uh, Jeep's yielding. We got both vehicles yielding in front of uh, Carl's Jr. Get on the ground, get on the ground, taser, taser, taser. Get on the ground. Put your arms out. Lay your arms out. Turn your arms around. Put your hands behind your back. Put your arms out! Again, again. Put your arms out! Out your side, out your side. Put your other arm out! You got the cuff? Put your other arm out! Why weren't you listening? It's hard to move your head with that stuff. What are you guys doing? You go to the ground, you go to the ground. Why are you chasing that car? Why are you chasing that car? It's a long story. Okay, uh, well, give it to me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's alright, it's cool, it's cool. Why are you chasing them? It's a long story, sir. But I'm cool. You got me. That is no, cool. it's not cool. It's a, that, that what happened? Give me the story about what happened. Uh, she's my wife. Uh huh. And we were having problems. Okay. And today just got out of control. So why are you chasing her? Putting all of us at risk here. You can kill people. I know. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Well, why are you chasing her? That hurt. Why are you chasing her? Huh? It got just, it just got out of control, sir. I, I mean, I don't want. I, what was you, the fight about? This is like uh, a ten-year-old fight. A ten-year-old fight? Yeah, yeah. They just, today just blew up. Where did it blow up? Where were you guys fighting? I was ready to leave to New Mexico, but I mean, okay. I, I don't, let's you know, go. Like, can, can you loosen up a little bit? Just a little bit. No. Sir. Step in there. Watch your head. You're gonna go in with your butt first. Turn around. Put your foot in. Put your foot in. Why does she think the husband was trying to ram him? She's not sure why. Exactly why he's had a bad temper in the past. He's been violent. Change the house, the house, the house. Tommy, the me, me, me. This came out as a uh, vehicles chasing each other. It looks like his ex-wife called in because he's chasing her in this and uh, rammed her car. We got some damage to his front end here. There's some heavy damage to her car. She's saying the car was in good condition prior to the incident. So, I mean, obviously he, he did some extreme ramming to her vehicle. That whole back end is out. You can look at the side here. He rammed her from the side. Got heavy damage to the driver's side. This whole windshield is busted out. She's saying this is where he came up and started pounding on her windshield. Obviously he's, uh, he was pretty angry. Does anybody need medical attention? No. Everybody's okay? What, what did you, where were you sitting in the car? In the back seat. In the back seat, what'd you see? I don't know, it was like, I was scared. How many times did he ram you guys? I don't know, it was like so many times. I, don't, I didn't even keep count. Was it like a high rate of speed or were you guys? Yes, he hit us like four times. He, we smashed into cars, pole lights, everything. He wanted to die or something because we almost flipped over and everything. He didn't stop. He was on the phone with his daughter. 
I don't know. He just wanted to kill that guy. I don't know. That's his daughter in the yellow? Yeah, he was on the phone. He was smashing us and everything like that. She was like, stop, puppy, stop. He didn't want to do anything. He was acting stupid. So how many times, if you had to guess, how many times did he ram you? Probably like 15 times. 15 times? There's cars smashed over on 15 other streets. Really? Yeah, everywhere. We smashed into two cars up there, like five cars back there on the side street and everything. Where did this all start? I don't know. An argument with my mom, I guess. Uh -huh. Were you in the back seat? Yes. And he was just chasing you guys all over the city? Yes. Do you, and you have no idea why? Well, I guess, I don't know. Why do you think? <laughs> I guess he wanted to kill him. So. Why, why would he want to do that? I don't know. How many times did he, did he ram you guys? A lot. A lot. What happened? Did he punch the front windshield? Is that how yes. that broke? He just came up and started just, punching on it? He just got out of his car and started screaming stuff at him. And just started punching and telling that he was going to kill my mom and me and, and the, the other girl. And, well, what all? What all? He was saying he was going to kill you, your mom? Everybody. He was going to kill everybody in the car. Hey, lean out here and talk to me. Yes? All right. They're telling us that you're calling them. And while you're calling them, you're telling them, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill your mom, and I'm not going to stop till you're they're all dead. Tell me, I mean, this is your one chance. Come clean. Why are you whatever saying all they, that? Whatever they want to say is, is okay. my fault. Well, did you call them and tell them that? Not that, but whatever they say is my okay. fault. I'll take the blame. They were scared out of their mind. I know, I know they were scared. Your daughter's over there crying. I know, I know. Your ex-wife's crying. They're all, they were all telling us Sir. we thought we were going to die, Sir. that you hit them 20 times. Not 20 times, come on. You... Did you see their car? Yeah, sir. Is that my car? Okay, well, did you see sir. what you did to it? Sir, if they're saying that I tried to kill them, that, that I called to train them that I was going to kill them, I know I didn't say that, but if they want to blame me for that, I'll take the punishment. Okay. Punishment, and just, I mean, right now, sir, like, if you want to in the head up, they wouldn't matter for me, sir. Okay. Well, you're I going mean, to jail. Just, yeah, I know, sir. You know I what you're going to jail for? I know. What? You're going to jail for attempted murder, okay? Right now, we're going to a... Uh... Backup deputy. I have done. We had a weapon disturbance. They believe they're behind the suspect vehicle. Supposedly, the report is that the uh, possible suspect has a automatic weapon in the car, some kind of assault type rifle. 41 Frank 34. Hold me out with him. 41, 41 North 18. You can have the American okay, American let's find out what we got. Was this yours? Yeah. What'd you have? Uh, right now, we just had a large fight at the at Rowdy's, I don't know. All right. When I got there, they said that he was taken off and it supposedly had an automatic rifle. So we got a semi-automatic AR-15-223 rifle. It's a Bushmaster because I have the same exact rifle loaded with uh, full metal jackets. No. Hollow points. Rachel, what's going on? It was just a boy fight over boys. A boy <laughs> fight? Over you or? I don't know. God, I hope not. God, okay. I hope not. It's so stupid. Where are we all at? We were at the bar. Did you get her or injured in this, or how'd you end up in this guy's truck? Because he's a friend of our friends, and he was he was a good guy. And okay, so he he's someone you know. Yes, he is, and he's okay. He's not a bad guy, and he got caught in the middle of a straw with my boyfriend. And my boyfriend has a very quick attitude. Okay. This guy here that saved you, do, do you know anything about this rifle, why he's got one? I don't know. And all I know that he had a rifle and they were talking about it earlier today. All right. No problem. You're not in any kind of trouble whatsoever. We just need to get this figured out. Then we'll go from there. Michael, what's going on? Uh, I brought... Um, my friend and my girlfriend to this club, and then he ended up and hit her and knocked her out, and I picked her up off the floor and put her in the truck. I see, okay. Yeah. Okay, so, so she's actually a victim out here on this thing. Yeah. What's in that case? I don't know, some big, long black case that he said was a guitar. Okay. All right. Did you know anything uh, about a gun in there? There ain't no guns in my truck. There ain't no guns in your truck? No. Well, we'll sack it up and go over there and see what we can get straightened out. We'll meet you over back over Rowdy's. They found a rifle in the truck. The girl indicated to me that she knows he had it and she knew it was in the truck. But the guy's telling the story saying he didn't know anything about it. So, uh, gonna be back over here at the bar. We're gonna talk to the people again and see if we figure out whose story is honest, whose story is a lie, and uh, 
maybe we got a guy over here with a felony record and felony possession of a weapon. We'll, we'll get out and figure out what we got. Do we have the boyfriend back over here yet? That I don't know. All we all we've got is the assault victim over here, and this guy also got the gun pointed in his face. If he can ID him. All right. Come on back here for a little bit. Stand behind us. Hey, no one there you go. That's fine. So what does guy do? He pointed a machine gun right at my head, right out here after after he. Nope. Not him. He was riding passenger. That guy was passenger. Yeah, that guy was passenger. The other guy had long black hair. He was driving a silver, brand new truck, but he was riding passenger. Did they bring the machine gun inside, outside in the parking lot? Outside in the parking lot. Okay. Now, is this the guy that you claim pointed an AR-15 rifle at you earlier from the bar? Yes, sir. Okay. He was in the truck, and he pointed a gun right at my face and said, if you don't step on it, I'll blow your head off. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Just hang tight. We're, we're almost done here. The suspect is admitting that he saw the boyfriend beating on her. Right. That's why he grabbed her and took, right. took off with her. And then we have someone beating on this girl, too, right. with long black hair. Right. But it, they, they say it wasn't that guy over there, right? Not the one in the car? Not the one that's all tattooed up? No, her boyfriend. Her boyfriend? Chris. Her boyfriend, Chris. Chris. He's the one that hit you? Punched me in my face. Yeah, no, he didn't even ride with them. They put her in the truck, and he took off on foot. When I was on 911, uh -huh. and I was telling them, I was like, they got her in the car. Okay. He punched me in my face. Were you inside the bar when all this was happening? Y'all came Which out? One? The someone told you all there was a big fight up front? The big guy with the tattoo? Okay. Yes. Yes. And I, okay. I know, right? Okay. And I'm sorry. No, I have a phone sorry. number. On the I ground. Have his phone number. She was on the ground. Okay. Out yeah, he's the one cold. who hit Rhea. She was knocked out? She was out. I understand. I was, well, it's, is she it's, okay? Yeah. He pushed Jeff. Jeff pushed him back. And I was like, and I went to push past him to go to her. Right. And he just straight up clocked my ass. I was like, dude, are you serious? I mean. Okay. All right, Chris. Yes, sir. Okay, what we have is tentatively, it looks like you got an open felony warrant for your arrest out of another state. Were you aware of that? Yeah, New Jersey. New Jersey? Okay. Yeah. It looks like they may want to extradite. The deputy's yeah. going to try and confirm it and go from there. Mm -hmm. Just letting you know. Yeah. Okay. I really wish you guys would understand that I never put my hands on my old lady. No. I don't do that. Okay. Don't. Well, you know she's alleging it. Uh, if she's over there and she's alleging it, that's fine. When she sobers up, she can let I have gone through this with this damn woman, like, three or four times already for the last like three years okay it's a great woman but when she gets drunk you know i understand about the whole thing about you know when you guys have to do what you got to do yeah but okay when it comes down to this one thing with me and her i really wish that y'all would listen to both of us we did well, i just want to let you know what you're up against so far tentatively just let me know just what's so going on all right sir all right appreciate it chris what we have here is a high-powered expensive rifle, hollow point type ammunition. Uh, what we have is uh, three individuals been at a bar. At least two of them meant to drinking some. But it's definitely in the wrong hands of a person who might be intoxicated or at least drinking alcohol. We're going to take possession of the rifle, and uh, they're all going to be taken to Harris County Jail. I think the biggest misconception that uh, people have about us is, you know, that that we're heartless and. We're just out there to take people to jail, and that's not true at all. It's hard to make these decisions sometimes, but you got to look at the big picture and, and know that you are making a difference and uh, you are trying to help. And, and so I think that's the biggest misconception: is people think that we're heartless. Past the vehicle up here, there's a uh, Hispanic male subject sitting uh, in the driver's seat of the vehicle. It's parked in front of a residence. Looks kind of suspicious. So I'm gonna stop and check him out. Hey, bud. What you up to? Oh, nothing, man. Just doing some business. Okay. Do you have an ID on you or sure, anything yeah. like that, bud? Yeah. You on the internet? Uh, yeah, I'm on the internet. Oh. Uh, you just come down here to maybe use the neighbor's internet or something? Oh, uh, no. It's it's uh, Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
We just saw you sitting here. Didn't know. Yeah, I know I didn't know who you are. Have you ever been in trouble before? Or anything yeah, I've been like that? Yeah, on probation. Okay. Are you off probation now? I should be. Okay. Like, what were you on probation for, sir? Huh? For uh, grand larceny. For grand larceny. Okay. Yeah. Where do you, where where are you living at? Helmand Avenue. Helmand. Okay. Whose truck? It's my truck. Oh, it's your truck. Yeah. Is it registered to anybody else, or is it no, registered? I just to you? bought it recently. Oh, okay. Uh, do you, you don't have anything illegal in your car, or no, anything I like that, bud? You mind hopping out for a second? Yeah. I'm right. Now, are you grabbing a single from the neighbors or? From anywhere, it's Wi-Fi. You oh, get okay. it from anywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not. Do yeah, you don't have, have anything on your pocket? Yeah. Can I make sure? Yeah, you can make sure. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. How come you don't do it at your house? Just out huh? of curiosity. Oh, well, I don't get no good signal. Oh, okay. Yeah, we know. And you think you're off probation? Uh, I think I'm off already. I should be already. I took okay. all my Come over here. I have a seat, Nothing legal in the car at all? No, nothing. Okay. Just have a seat right here for us. Oh, all right, then. Yeah. Does it show that I'm still on probation or not really? Um, I didn't see anything. Oh, it's did? showing either way, so. Oh, it's not showing nothing? There's somebody's driver's license number. There's some account numbers in here. Visa. Then you got someone's social security number. Looks like he might be into a little identity theft. And I wouldn't be surprised. Look at, he made these, these are uh, false checks. He's taken somebody else's uh, account information, what he has in this book, printing them onto these checks, and then he's printing these papers out, taking them in, cutting these out and cashing them, and then it deducts it from somebody else's account number. It's identity theft, so. It's going good. Can you explain this to me? What? Why you have these checks and everybody's uh, personal information? Mine. Oh, these are yours? Yeah, those are mine. You make these? Yeah, I, I copyright them. Yeah, I work okay. for Pro Travel Network. I own my own traveling business right now. Okay. Yeah. And is this you? Jose, yeah. Okay. Um, just a quick question, man. Why do you have so many people's uh, social security cards? Oh, I, and I process them in the, in the system. They you sign up. They sign I up. I got all their numbers and everything. Okay, so if I call them right now and they'll say, "Yeah, he has yeah. permission to have my social security yeah, number." Yeah, I ask them. You can call the, any okay, of them. Okay, I want. will. Okay. Okay, go ahead and have a seat for yeah. me, bud. So these people, when they answer, they're gonna say, "Yeah, uh, that you have permission to have their stuff, and that that they haven't been a victim of any kind of identity theft, right?" I mean, they're gonna know you by name and all that, right, Jose? I think they should know me by name, Jose. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I told them, but some of those, they're leads. I told you before that. There's absolutely no reason you would need somebody's social security number for a lead. No, I'm not Ab saying no, 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 no. Yeah, no. exactly. No, the other ones, yeah. You can call those. Hi, how you doing? Is this Salvador? Is it, is it, what, hey, Salvador. My name is Brad Bonnet. I work for the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. I have a guy here with your Visa credit card number and your name and your address and your birthday. And he says that you gave him that information. Okay. What kind of charges were made on your account, do you know? Okay, they didn't allow them. Okay. Okay, Salvador. Okay, well, thank you very much. Um, and um, let me give you a call back in a little bit after I get this all figured out, okay? Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Yeah, he's lying. Um, basically, um, the bank... Um, just notified him within the last couple of days that somebody's making unauthorized transactions on his account and they changed his account number for him. Okay, and he filed a report? Uh, no, he hasn't filed a report yet, but okay. he, he has all the information from the bank. So basically it looks like this is all going to be identity theft. Okay, just, just, just so you know, man, this isn't the first time we've seen something like this, okay? <laughs> this is nothing new to us, okay? This person right here, I just spoke with, okay? Not only does he have no idea who you are, he's never heard of you, he's never heard of your company, he just had unauthorized account charges to his account within the last week to this account number. The bank notified him of the information and the account's been changed, okay? Now, you're in possession of not only his account number, but his name, his address, it, you have people's social security numbers. These people have no idea who you are. Either someone's not giving me right information, they're giving me somebody else's brain, and I'm writing it out, and I'm getting for it, honestly. Well, I'm getting you it. need to be more careful. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna. Because now I'm you're, in, you're gonna, in person, I'm, you're in possession of somebody's personal Because trust me, if I find out, if I get a hold, I don't know, because I don't know what people give me right information, that's why I tell them, look, is this your right information? Because I'm putting you in the system. I want it to be, I don't want it to be somebody else's that you're taking their identity, you know, or something like that. No, that's my information. What are you talking about? All right. They give me their number and everything. 
and that's what I do. Yeah. I, you know what? In my personal opinion, I think you're lying. So. You think, okay, no, that's fine. That's, that's what fine. we do for a living. Are. and. Yeah, no, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Stand up. Yeah. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Right. right now you're under arrest for um, my dating theft. theft, right. Yep. That's fine. Okay. We're going to go back to the station. We're, we're going to all go talk. Oh, okay. Well. Let me see. Well, let's go. Uh, let's take him back to the station, and we'll go back and do some of the leg work on this. Um, looks like we probably have about 10 victims. So... Hopefully we can get some interviews from them and seal this up. So. Okay. That works. All right. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay. Gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get it to 2514. Can transmit on tech 2. What you want? What you want? What you want? is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Right now we're, uh, we have a pursuit with a uh, suspect from a family violence. We have a supervisor and several deputies behind him. And we're trying to catch up to him so we can get in the area and assist with, uh, the stop. My suspect just went northbound on Ella. He's in the wrong lane, at northbound on the southbound lanes, Ella. That's firm if he's back on the northbound side of Ella, now we're approaching Greens. Approaching Greens Parkway. Parkway. He wrecked, he wrecked. He wrecked out. Tom 31 is lower, but he'll down. I am sorry, we're Still southbound, we're now passing west 40, west 34. West 34 is still southbound. Back up to North Main. He went straight through the red light North Main. He's, he is just smoking it. He is flying southbound. 41 Frank 34, all right. Houston, he just crashed out. South of Collinsworth. South of Collinsworth. He's on foot, running uh, east, I believe. On foot, eastbound. He's bound in a field, I think. ex-wife's uh, broke in the back door and uh, started beating them all down. 
I mean, beat down his ex-wife, her boyfriend, now, and her daughter. I mean, they, he, he broke in the back door. I mean, I've never seen a door kicked in like that. Okay. All thing I was trying to, try to tell you was, good job. I ain't really mean to win, y'all. Man, do you know how long you ran? <laughs> I know, I just No, no, seriously. I know, I ran a long time. I'm just like- Whose car is that? Miles. Good. You messed up. It's yeah, totaled. It's totaled, Bubba. And using it in a commission of crime? Your insurance ain't gonna cover it. You just lost it. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Use it in the commission of a crime, therefore the insurance company will not pay out on it. I, I, I know. All right. What you been to jail for? Never. Never? Never in your life? Well, not for well, anything? Uh, but, no, but never got victim nothing. Like look at me. Traffic tickets. Okay. What I'm saying? Sit up, man. Sit up on your bottom fine. and don't move from there. I'm not gonna move. Alright. I'm gonna tell you what happened tonight. What I know what happened, but you go ahead and tell me your version. You got blood on her. No, 14 left. What happened tonight? There's a probe right there at your foot. I went with my ex-wife. I was talking to my ex-wife earlier today. We've been going to marriage counseling. Oh, there it is. And no, we've been trying to get back together. And, you know, I'm sorry, y'all, man. I'm in law enforcement. Just like, You're in law enforcement? I clicked. I clicked. A what? I clicked. What was the badge for? Oh, 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 oh. I'm in, like, a lot of prevention. You should have just pulled over, man. I, want, I wanted to. You had plenty of chances. You know how many lives you risked tonight with us trying to catch you? You know how many officers risked their lives tonight to catch you? Know. you? know. You know, I just, like... You know what would have happened if an officer would have crashed out and died chasing after you? Can I get up now? The car destroyed now. Everything destroyed. It don't matter, man. If an officer would have got hurt chasing you tonight, you would have got the charge for that. You understand? Okay. You were silly. I was very silly tonight. All you had to do was pull over. I We'd have been like, a lot more gentle. I didn't feel like going to jail tonight. The end line. 41 hour, 24 I don't know why I did this. <laughs> well, we'd like to know why you did it. You got us, HPD. Who else? We have any ISD out there tonight? Yeah, we passed a couple of those and DPS. DPS, ISD. You had everybody, man. And a couple of helicopters. You know what's about it? Wait, huh? Well, after my ex wife called you, I, I was long gone. I yeah. could have went and got to be able to sleep. So you think this is fun, but this isn't no, funny for no, us, man. No, no, I want to go back and tell her I'm sorry. I don't like running 120 miles an hour. I want to go home tonight. No, I want to go home back and tell her I, I got I was, dogs I got to feed. I want to go back and tell her I was sorry, but. No, that's not happening. Write her a letter from jail. No, I know I know, I know where to jail tonight, but. Yeah, you got to go, man. He was sliding from about a couple poles back coming into here. This is where it culminated. He trashed his car right into this here pole. He bailed out. He ran behind the houses over to our left. He refused my commands, deployed taser, got him in the side, and took him into custody from there. Just letting you know, I'm going to be the one filing in charge on you for the evading and everything. I'm sorry. I understand. And you know what? I told you earlier, I can respect what you said earlier, because you, you apologized, you were manned up and everything like that. I, it's like this, man. I just, I'm just tired. Okay. I just really want to go home. Says he's never been in jail before, and now it's his first time. First time for everything. We're going to a neighbor dispute call. A couple of neighbors met up at the uh, community mailbox. Looks like they might have gotten into a fight. One of them got either punched or kicked in the back of the head. Uh, there's a couple of deputies already out there, and it looks like the, uh, the aggressor fled and uh, is maybe holed up inside of his house. So um, we're going to try to assist. So what's the number you get on Kendall? 9921. Sir, can I talk to you for a sec? How are you doing? Uh, I've been better. Okay. I'm Detective Duper of the Sheriff's Department. Can you tell me what happened? Well, he, I, we come back from dinner and I was walking into my garage and I uh -huh. heard, heard him go, hey, Hey, dude, like that. And I said, hey, he goes, he asks, I don't even know his name, doesn't know he goes, are you done? I said, yeah. And he says, can I talk to you for a second? I said, yeah. So we walked up here. And he goes, he goes, the guy across the street said you were, you were talking about me. And I said, no, I wasn't talking about you. Uh -huh. And I said, well, I'm not here to fight. And when I turned, he hit me in the side of the head, and I fell down. And then he, and my wife said he kicked me a few times. I don't know. I, I was kind of like. You think he lost, lost consciousness there for a minute? Or? I did, for sure. Okay. And then I, I kind of came to, and then I got up, and then I don't, and I started to walk away. I remember I was walking away, and then he hit me again. And then my wife was yelling at him, and she goes, don't, he's got a bad leg, he's got a bad leg. And he said, I don't give a about his leg. And then I was still kind of like dazed, and then. He then, didn't kick you in your bad leg, did he? Yes. Oh, he did? Yeah. Also? Okay. <gasps> Okay. So, 
What, so, what, did you have surgery on it or something, or what was it? No, I, you know, I have a big knee brace I wear to work and stuff, you know. And when I was when he was yelling at me, I thought, oh my God, I don't I don't want to get in a fight right now. I, I I can't even put any weight in this leg. I'd be defenseless. And so that's why I was trying to be really cool, you know. Yeah. And then I turned around to to, to just to leave, you know. I thought it was over, and that's when he 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 punched me. Well, hopefully we'll uh, catch up with him later tonight. Yeah. Well, Sundays is usually his day where he's out, just walking back and forth across the street, you know, with the beers, you know. And because um, we we've talked a couple times about it, he's got a big dog, and I've got nine grandkids. And the, the, the dog scared a couple of my grandkids, and I approached him one time about the dog. I said, hey, yeah. you know, we have a leash law. See, that dog, it's a big dog. My grandkids are small. He's like, F you, man. I'm like, yeah. dude, come on. And I said, listen, if that dog does anything to my grandkids, then there's going to be, I go, just put him on a leash. Yeah. There's no how about if I put you on a leash. No. Oh, okay. So, you know. He's just one of those type of people. You can't really talk nah, to him. No, nah, no, nah. no. Let me, let me just take, I want to take a look one more time. You turn this way so I can see. Uh, is, that, is that cut over there? Or? I, okay. I don't know. I didn't even look yet. Okay. All right. All right, sir, my suggestion to you is to go seek medical aid. Yeah, you know, definitely. Because you never know. I know. Um, I'm, well, I'm pretty sore. You could, get, you could get a brain aneurysm yeah. or something going on up there. You may My not brain's even realize kind of small. It. <laughs> Still, you never know, okay? Well, thank you very much, Don. Okay, no problem. Okay, we'll talk okay. to you later. Looks like the, uh, the aggressor has maybe holed up inside of his house. Looks like the garage door's open. Call the dog back. Please don't shoot my dog. Call the dog Martin, back. Martin, come here. Marty, come here. Marty's cool. You 61, one at gunpoint. Marty's cool. Turn around away from me. Martin's going over there. I'm cool. Turn around away from me. Okay. Put your hands up. I'll, I'll have my dad coming. Hold on. Don't, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. I'm not moving. I, you don't have to shoot nobody. I'm cool. The neighbors are all watching. I'm Marty, cool. get over here. Back, back up, back up, back up here towards me. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. No, her. You come here. Come here. Back up towards me. Back. Come on, right now. I'm not doing nothing. Okay, okay, okay. But I don't want to shoot her. I don't want to shoot you. Okay, put your hands on top of your head. On top of your head. On top. On top of your head. Put your fingers together. Okay. Put your. I, okay, that's totally fine. We'll take care of that. But just give me a second here. I want you to hold the dog. I don't want anybody to get hurt. I'm not resisting anything. Okay, all right. I'm not resisting anything. I appreciate guys, that. I mean, yeah, I'm not looking for no trouble. Well, you know, I like, just okay. trying, no, like I told I, you, I there's always two sides to every story. Martin is so good, he, all the neighbors know him. You know, the thing is, is that the uh, the dog doesn't know any better, and he sees me. Yeah, uh, going to, hi. I had the, he had his out here with his dog, and I was trying to yeah, make cool. sure the dog wasn't coming I'm, after me. I'm not me resisting, I, though. You guys all know like that, that, right? I don't you're good, you're good, you're good. I don't want to get beat up. You're good. Well, tell, tell me about this thing. What happened earlier well, today? I made a mistake. <laughs> Obvi obviously, right? I made a mistake. Um, I didn't even know this. I mean, I've lived here for five years. Um, I don't even know that guy. But I know most of the neighbors. I'm not saying they all love me, but I know most of the neighbors don't like him. Whatever. Yeah. Saturday night. We were. Tell me what happened today. I says, "Hey, are you Don?" And he says, "Yeah, uh -huh. I'm Don, or whatever." And I said, "Well, I heard you had a a problem with me that I'm a loud mouth. I don't know if all what the information I got is true." Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're upset because yeah, hey, you heard I, this guy yeah, saying something you know, about you. What's what's the problem? Uh -huh. And the guy is like in my face. You know, I mean, he's in my. I mean, I don't want to do it to you, but, I, you know, he's on, he's in my face, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, well, what do you mean I'm, I'm a loud, like, I didn't say you were a loud man. He's like this, and I'm like going like this, mm -hmm. you know, you know, to, you know, like whatever. Yeah. And uh, so, so uh, we're having words or whatever, and uh I hit him. Well, Robert, I appreciate it. You know what? Um, That's the truth. That's I appreciate truth. I appreciate being so cool and taking yeah. care of your dog for me. Just have a seat for me real okay. quick. Okay. And uh, I'll like make sure, I said, I'll make sure if, your, if your dog's put a, away here and well, everything's good. If, so have a seat and I'll come back okay. and talk to you in a minute. Like okay. I said, if I have a court date, I'm going to be there. I, I, okay. I don't need to be, I hope okay. I don't need to be bailed out of jail and all okay. that. Because I did hit him. I admit it. I hit him. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go going figure out what we're going to do right now. I have a court date, believe me. I, I've never had a failure to appear even on a 
ticket. Okay. Know, so All right, Robert. I'm not a the AC's runner. on, so just hang if tight for me. If you get my name mixed up with my brother, you might think I'm the guy who runs. But okay. I own no, the I, house and I think, I'm not I think we got you squared away. All right, All right. hang tight here for a minute. Hey, we're all good. We got him wrapped up. He admitted to to hitting the guy. Pretty you know, much, um, he pretty much confirmed everything the you know the you victim know, said. He's trying to justify it a little bit, but yeah, he made a mistake, and that's what he said. I made a mistake, and so he's going to uh, be going to jail for assault. City of North Las Vegas is one of the fastest growing cities in the entire United States. Obviously, when you have growth, you have crime, and there's just a lot to do. You want to work dope, you can work dope. You want to work canine, you can work canine. If you want to work in special ops, you can work special ops. There's just so many divisions within our department, and we're growing so fast right now. We're going to a, responding to a theft in progress in one of our local blockbuster video stores. And uh, we have two suspects, one male, one female, inside management. So that there uh, appears to be uh, a couple individuals stashing some merchandise on her person. Baker 25 arriving. He's standing on a lake meat side. 21, show me where I have a blood pressure well. They still inside? What's up, guys? Can we talk to you for a second? Do me a favor, keep your hands out of your pocket. Keep your hands out of your pocket, relax. Mind if my partner pats you down, make sure you have nothing on you? Speak English? Yeah. Okay. Hear what I have to say. If you have anything on you, you need to tell me right now. Yeah. Okay, don't reach in your pocket. Face that way. Hands behind your back. Okay, spread your feet for me, please. This way. Face that way. Mind if I get this out? Can I get this out? Can I look inside this box? What you got inside? Can I look inside? My oh my. Wanna tell me what's going on here? You got stupid, you said? Okay. Uh how old are you? Okay, you're eighteen? Okay. Um, do you have any money on you? Okay, so you basically came here with no money on you. Well, and what was your intentions of doing besides, tell me what you, just taking movies? Okay. Do me a favor, we're going to step over here. Uh, we're going to step outside. I'm going to uh, talk to you outside for a second, okay? Then I'm going to talk to your boyfriend. How long you say you've been together? Five years. Okay, let's step outside real quick. Hey, can you guys do me a favor? Leave this here and print out a receipt on what each and every one of these costs, All okay? Right, sure. Including those over there, okay? All right. We're looking at uh, a few hundred bucks easy. Okay. Okay, do me a favor, step over here, please. All right, well, we got a little problem here, okay? We're gonna sort this out, but as of right now, okay, um, with you having the intention to come in here uh, to, to steal with no money. Well, he was gonna get a movie. Okay. Well, that might be true. Uh, a movie, like you said. Mm -hmm. We have over 20 movies between, between the two here, or just on your person alone. All right, what was your intentions of doing with those movies? What were you gonna do with those movies? Uh, sell them. Sell them? No, see them. See them? Has he ever been arrested, you know? Not no. since you've been together? What about before you guys have been together? No. All right, I'll be with you in a second, okay? Have a seat. Just hang tight for me, okay? Okay, this, uh, man, this pair of pliers that you have here, mm -hmm. where'd you get this from? From a friend. From a friend? Why do you have the bandage on there and stuff? Because he said it won't scratch the CDs. Okay. This looks like a pretty uh, nifty setup here, my friend. It looks to me like you've been doing this for a while. Now, do you want us to turn this into a full-blown investigation, or do you want to handle this like, like men? I don't know, I just want to, if you're going to arrest me, I just want to get arrested already. You know? Okay, but the problem here is this. If we end up retrieving any other property at your residence, you're going to have some problems. 
So do you want to cooperate with me, yes or no? I already did cooperate. Okay, I'm, I'm asking about the property that, that's at your house right now. No, there's no property. Okay. Who's at your house right now? It's my mom. Okay. I think it would probably break her heart if she finds out her son was going burglarizing businesses. Don't you think that? Yeah. Don't you agree with that? Your mom would probably be a little upset if we told her? Okay. All right, why don't you think about it for a while. Have a seat in the back seat of the car right here, right, buddy? Uh, I'm going to go inside, talk to the manager right now, get a... He, working on he's, it right he's now. in process of getting up right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so right now we have burglary in possession of burglary tools right here. Okay. Good solid charges, all right? Nice, nice. Uh, do me a favor, hang on and there, put okay. that with his property. I'll be right back, bud. I heard a bunch of, like, popping. Well, I walked up behind the girl, and she didn't know I was behind her. And, like, I saw her, like, you know, fidgeting around. I know she was popping a box open. Like, I walked right next to her, and she just, like... Right away, picked up another movie from the shelf and started looking at the back. And I walked around the corner. Her man started walking up, and I was like, "Ah, oh, these guys are up to something." Dude, I came up here, told him what was going on. He called right. you guys, right? And I went over there just to make sure. And yeah, like right when I walked over there, that guy turned around real quick, and he's like, "Oh, oh what? What about this one, babe?" And let me ask you this: Do you guys have any surveillance footage? Of them? Not right there, dude. Like, Not oh, do you thing. know what? As a matter of fact. That they, were, they were at that corner right that there. That camera right there might have seen something, dude. I don't know. Okay. Here they come. He's got the burglary tool. He has the, the needle nose pliers we were talking about. He's doing all the legwork, and he's literally handing over the merchandise to her. So not only did the district attorney's office have our testimony, they also have the video footage of them coming in. Okay. All right. Appreciate your help, buddy. No problem. Thank you. All right. Is this obviously not his first time? There's no doubt in my mind that there are other video stores that have been hit. Okay. So he was clipping and then handing it over to her. Mm -hmm. It was like a, a theft conveyor belt. Yeah. Snap, here you go, snap, mm -hmm. here you go, snap, here you go. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, coverage code three. Thanks, Ted. Get it to 2514, can transmit on tech two. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I work a very busy district. One of the good things about working in this area is that uh, we all work real well together uh, with other agencies. Uh, we have constables, the highway patrol, city police, and all of us work really well. We take care of each other, look out for each other. <laughs> all right. George 34. Going out on several suspicious persons here. Keep your hands walking. down. What are you doing walking in the middle of the road? I, mean, uh, I was walking in there, but I was trying to catch back. Oh my God, what happened to your leg? Stop, come here. Yeah, <laughs> That's fair. 43 Frank 30. He tried to jerk away from me. Hang on, hang on, because he was reaching down. No se mueve. Cállate. Sam 2. I'm with SO. We just had a, he had a fight when we're at Brownwood and Freeport. We got one on the ground. We have him detained right now. Hang on, this is we what have he's some after. other subjects by my car. You have another unit go that way. Is that, that other guy just dropped stuff by your tire. Okay. Show me around. You ready? Yeah. What were y'all doing? Huh? No. No English. Okay. I got You were. You were speaking English a second ago. You forgot it, I guess. He kept ignoring me, acting like he didn't hear me. I chased him down. When I got the cuff on him, he started to try and wrestle away from me. Took him down to the ground, got him cuffed up. We're gonna find out what's going on with these three. Forty-three Frank Thirty under control. 
Frank Daddy say yes to the show? Watch that guy. He is. I've dealt with him several times. Hey, uh, who's your Spanish speaker? Stop right there. Get cute. I need a Spanish speaker here. Oh. Hey, Just tobacco. Why? Stan got him? Yeah, I got him. Why you throw that down? Nobody threw nothing down. Keep your hands down. I didn't throw it down. Keep your hands down. She had I sat right over there and watched you do it while I was messing with that other idiot. She threw it down. You're lying through your teeth. Ask her. She had it. You're just lying because you got caught. Ask her, officer. Ask Chris. Tell him. She's not going to take the rap for you. Tell Chris. That's it. She said it's hers. It's hers, officer. I promise. I watched you throw it I down. I throw it down. I swear. She did. I promise. Q, can we put him in your car? You can ask anybody that throws. She had it on her. We seen you throw it. Sit down. Sit down. Why was it underneath my car? Sit down. I'm trying to. Can we get name and DLB? Start clicking away on him, okay? No, you can put your hands behind your what back. Am I doing? Put your hands behind your back. I haven't even done anything. What am I going to jail for? Did I say you were going to jail? Okay. Did I say you were going to jail? Okay then. Now's not the time to get a bad attitude about everything, okay? Yeah, hey, uh, definitely check uh, the purse and bag and everything else. Okay. What's your name again? Hello, what's your name again? Carlos. Carlos? Carlos. When I was over here, I looked right no, back at you. you. Know I didn't did. say move your leg. You know she did. She took it out of her pants. You can go back to the park. I looked right at you, Carlos. No, sir. Listen, please. You can stick it out of her pants and hand her. I knocked it down. That's all. I swear. I swear to God, I can prove it. Carlos, how many more times am I going to have to run into you? I did, do, I'm not doing that. I'm trying to stay clean. I swear all. You're not doing a very good job of it. You are going to jail tonight for possession. Period. There's no if ands. Don't bang on the cage. But, sir, you know, Don't do any of that. I raised my shirt up and showed you that I didn't have nothing. I looked right at you, Carlos. I did, right at you. I, I saw what you were doing. She's God. also going to jail for possession, and he's going to jail for resisting. Okay. Sir, we saw you throw it. I told I did, you. Listen I, to me, Carlos. But I swear to God, I can prove it. How can you prove it, Carlos? I can take you over to the apartment and Phil and them will tell you that she carries a with her. She had it in her purse. I told her to take it out of her damn purse. Leave it. She put it in right there. Right so you there. knew she had it? She, uh -huh. So you knew she had I it? I knew it before. She, I, I thought she got rid of it. Then she put it right there. I said, did you get rid of it? She goes, yes. Okay, watch your leg. Watch your leg. Right. Crystal. Yes. Did was that crack pipe in that sock? Whose is that? I don't know whose it was. You don't know whose it was? I didn't see it. You didn't see it? Ow. No. You didn't see it at all. Mm -hmm. The apartment you just came from, were y'all smoking crack over there? What apartment? No. So y'all didn't come from an apartment? I just went over there to use the bathroom. My stuff's at the other house, but he's gone. The purse you had on you, is that your purse? So everything in that What's purse is yours, correct? Right? So my friend gave it to Huh? My friend gave it to me. My friend gave you the purse? So the cocaine that we found in the purse is not yours? What are you talking about? What? This cocaine was in your purse. So whose is that? I don't know. Where was it? In your cigarette pack, in the purse, that you had on your shoulder when we stopped you. Where was it? In the cigarettes? No, it was in the cigarette pack. So this is yours? You know, Crystal, I think you're kind of lying to us a little bit tonight, okay? She's going for the possession of cocaine. The crack pipe, possession of cocaine on Carlos, and evading and resisting on the other guy. So all three of them go down for walking in the road, starting off. I decided to come to work in the city of Ranch Cucamonga. It's a big city, um, has all different types of crime. The command staff's great. The people that uh, work at the station are really good. Everyone uh, works as a team. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity at the station, special assignments, and uh, there's a lot of resources here at Rancho.
Up ahead uh, in front of us, we just had a red motorcycle go around two cars that were stopped at the red light. He went into oncoming traffic and went westbound. Uh, we're going to see if we can attempt to catch up to him. We heard him pursuit of a red motorcycle, westbound arrow approaching Grove. There he goes. Plate's going to be call personalized. Edward. Ida Ocean Nora, he just did Get down! Put your hands behind your back! Let's see your hands! Let's see your hands! Met 14, roll meds. Met 14, we have the subject detained. You can roll meds to Arrow and Grove. And we need another unit to shut down traffic. We're in the middle of the street. Pull the gloves off. Okay. Is he out? Is he out? He's away. He's Is away. he? You're awake? Get this backpack off. Oh, he's drunk, dude. I can smell the alcohol. I'm away. Okay. I'm away. I'm away. Here. Are you injured? I'm away. I'm away. Are you injured? No. What are you running for? Watch out. Probation or anything? No. No? Are you injured at all? No. Is your neck hurt? No, I'm fine. Physically, I'm fine. What's your name? David. Why are you run, man? What are you doing? Why would you do that? I didn't realize I was running. You ran two red lights. You passed three cars here trying to get away from us. We had our lights and siren on for over a mile. And then you ran this red, lock, red light and you crashed as a result of it. Why? How much you had to drink tonight? Probably quite a bit. Quite a bit? We uh, smell it on you. We're at Baker and Arrow. Stopped at the red light behind two cars. The bike's here. He goes around all the cars, blows the red light westbound. We go straight out, lights and siren. He's right in front of us, takes off, gasses it, goes around three cars in opposite lane of traffic, comes up here, slows down for the dip, red, red light, face, facing another red light, makes a turn, loses it from underneath, crashes, and that's where he's at. Reeks of booze. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? Consider yourself a good rider? I do, but you're responsible. Why is that? Because you've been drinking? Yeah. I should have known better. Just a mistake. Is that your bike, man? Yes, sir. It's a nice bike. A Prilla is a nice bike. Actually, it's actually a good thing that you guys actually did what you did. What, what, what got into you? I mean, we were, saw you at the light right there. Oh, you went yeah. around the car, ran the red. It wasn't the intention, it was just... I mean, what were you thinking? You, you're lucky to be standing here right now, you know that? All it would have taken was a wrong turn and you would have been killed. It wasn't the intention, it yeah. was just... Is it just, I mean, is it the alcohol driving or, I mean, what was it? I don't understand. But we're just glad you didn't kill yourself or anybody else. I appreciate but, uh, that you're here. Yeah. Well, what I did was, is what I did, and it's like... You made a bad decision. But lucky you're alive to talk about it, right? Right? Thanks, guys. All right, I'll have a seat, bud. Right here. Where do you want me to be? Just sit right here, okay? Are you hurt at all? You're good? You're only going about two, three miles an hour when you crash. I'm all right. I'm all right. He's prepping up. Where are you coming from tonight? Ranch Kamonga area. You know what city you're in right now? No, no sir. No? no? You know what time it is? Like 10 30, maybe? Yeah. How much alcohol have you had to drink tonight? Oh, about five beers. Five what beers? Hey, Brad, you got his ID somewhere? Yeah. Here. Over the course of how much? What time? What time did you start drinking? 6.45 p.m. Okay, we're gonna do a preliminary alcohol screening test though. Let's get you to stand up. 
You understand that's not a required test. Okay? You understand that? Yes. Okay. All you got to do is sew your lips on here, take a deep breath, and blow. I'll tell you when to start, I'll tell you when to stop. Yes, sir. Deep breath. Yes, sir. Seal. Blow. Good. You want to sit back down so you don't fall? Of course. Thank you. Yeah, if... I apologize. It's embarrassing right off the bat, but... I'm just glad you didn't kill yourself. Uh, in an intersection, I would have been taking more, but... What's that say right there? Really high amount. What's that say? 0.219. Yeah. You're about two and a half times the legal limit. Okay. You're under arrest for operating a motor vehicle under the influence of alcohol. Go ahead and stand up. Who's cussing better? I'm going to switch him out. I'll just give him. Thanks, guys. Okay. Good jump set back to save your life, man. It's a learning lesson. Thanks. Three violations. Red light one, two vehicles, unsafe passing, unsafe speed, yeah. and red light here. I'm glad he slowed down to take that turn. Here's what we got going on this afternoon. Um, a couple hours ago, at the supermarket, we had four subjects go inside. They all went in separately, wandered around the store. They went over to the bakery section. They ordered a cake. The cake was given to them. Um, they concealed the cake, and then they basically ran out of the store. Security tried to stop them. Um, on the way out, they did get a license plate. The license plate does come back down the street. We do have cause to arrest the white female that's wearing the green shirt. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. We're going to go ahead and attempt to contact these possible uh, commercial burglary suspects. Although the theft was only a cake, the way they entered the store and separated and started uh, stalking the aisleways and the loss prevention officers and the manager was uh, clearly indicative of uh, our typical burglary suspects out here. Okay, let's look for that blue Ford Ranger truck. 10-4. The building's up there to the right. Chances are if they're parked here, they're going to be right in front of the building or across the way. I'm not locating the truck. You can go ahead and come on in. We'll make contact up top and uh, see who's in the house, find out what happened to the truck. The apartment's down here on the bottom, first floor under the stairwell. So we'll knock over here and find out what's going on. Got a note on the door. <sighs> Please knock on a window. Go ahead. Doggy. Sheriff's department. Are you Cheryl? Yeah. You mind if I come in and talk to you real quick? Sure. Okay, great. Are you the only one home right now? No. Okay. Um, what I need to speak to you about, do you own a Ford Ranger? Yeah. Okay, is it here right now? No. No? Okay, where is it at? Um, my daughter went shopping with it. Your daughter went shopping? What's your daughter's name? Shauna. Shauna? Where was she earlier then? She was out shopping. She came home and dropped stuff off. Oh, okay. Do you know what she bought? Um, some TV uh, turnovers. But, um, so she brought some pastries home? Yeah. Okay. Was there a special occasion for that or anything? Or just, no. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the cake's inside, so we'll wait, and maybe they'll show up in the truck, and that'll be good. We can put a body with the uh, stolen property. We've got a Ford Ranger here. I'm advise uh, 50 Paul 4 that the uh, suspect vehicle just showed up at the apartment complex. Huh? Turn the car off. Anybody Me, in the back? My son and my mom. I'm here to Okay, see can my I mom. see your ID, please? Stay in the car. Oh, okay. Just close the door. There you go. Uh, Let me see your ID, driver's license. Wait, hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. We'll, tell, we'll explain it to you in a minute. Well, are you shopping today or anything? Yeah. yeah Shauna. Yeah. Yeah. Shauna, turn around. I just went for my mom. You know, what else? Um, there, there's stuff in the back of the truck. Yeah. You have receipts for that stuff? Yeah. yeah. Shauna, turn around listen to the deputy. Shauna, okay. um, basically, here, here's what's listen going on. Listen to the on. deputy, Shauna. Keep your hands okay. out of your purse. Well, I was trying to find okay. a Okay, just let me have yeah. the purse. 
here, here's what's going on. Um, and I don't need you to say anything, but basically, we saw you guys there. We've got you guys on tape. So we know that you guys took that cake out of there without mm -hmm. paying for it. Mm -hmm. So that's basically why we're here. Sean, I'm going to have you have a seat in my car real quick. All right, step on over to my car. You know, I'm going to go inside and uh, recover the cake. Here it is. Well, this is what I'm taking with me then. All right. I'll be back with you in a little bit, okay, man? We'll talk again. Okay, yeah, no, no cat out? I'm thinking on him, even if I get enough PC, I'll do a JCR, I'll just release him to grandma. Okay, that sounds so, good. Um, so if you could just stand by, I've got her out here. She's unsecured okay, right now. Okay, do we have a witness in route right I'll now? Witness or? is in route right okay, now. Okay, great. Deputy Blanco's bringing him over. Okay, great, thank, thank you. Okay, Cheryl, go ahead and come out of the car, please. Cheryl, I'm Shana. I mean, Shauna, Shauna, sorry. <laughs> Can you just go ahead and stand next to your son over here, please? Yeah. Step out a little bit more to your left and face the deputy's patrol car. So right now we have uh, being photographed. No, the witnesses are looking to see if you are the person that was in the store. Any word? And they're sticking their thumb up. They're sticking their thumb up. Okay, come back over here. Stand here. Nancy, come over here, son. Why is he? Why is he in trouble? Because I was involved. With he, but he's not going to go anywhere right now with oh. us. Okay. Okay. Only you are. Let me go ahead and and, and he's gonna go I'll with his awesome. grandma. I'll okay, so you'd be placed under arrest, arrest for right conspiracy now. to commit burglary yeah. in the store, okay, because you were with your mom when she committed the theft and you helped her commit the theft. I'm gonna take you over to your grandmother right now and we're gonna talk about uh, arranging your release to her custody. Okay. And then you'll go to court later and answer for the charges to a judge. All right. Okay, you understand that, Mom? Yeah. Okay. Let's come back here. Cuff's okay? Yeah. Okay. Let me get back to the this has got to be a lesson, man. Your mom's got to wise up. I didn't even know what we were doing. I thought we were supposed to just go shopping. That's well, what we were told. You're going to be given a court date, and you're going to answer to a judge and explain to him why you did what you did. Okay. Okay, I appreciate you being honest and forthright with the deputy when he asked you questions, and that's what you need to be. Okay, do you understand? Yes, I understand. Okay, good. All right. All right, Shauna. So what happened this afternoon? I walked in, and I just stole the cake, and I walked out. That was it. For what reason? Eh, I don't know. I had money in my pocket. I had a hundred dollars of my own. It was a ten dollar cake. I don't know. Whose idea I'm was it? Stupid. It was mine. It was your idea? Yeah. Have a seat back in the car. Okay. Um, can you make sure he gets all the groceries out? There's milk and yeah. stuff. Yeah, in the back I'll let him there. know. You didn't steal that stuff, did you? No. No, she showed me the receipt. Okay. I had to make sure. I had to make sure. Right there. Okay. Okay. This one. That's my stuff. No, okay. My mom's receipts in the trunk. No, okay. The only thing we're taking is the cake. We'll uh, get this back to the store, I guess, and see what they want to do with it. Yeah. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get it to 2514. Can't transmit on tech 2. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Eddie and I have been working street narcotics for quite a few years now as partners. We've been together since 1994. And uh, out here, it just seems that it's never slow. It never slows down. Sometimes the faces change, but you know the game's still the same. So if you pick somebody off and you got five more guys that'll step right in and take their place, you know, it's. It's the way it evolves out here. You know, just, one guy goes down, there's three guys in line waiting to take his spot. All right, we're going over to a house where we got information earlier from a confidential informant. We got a box of marijuana that's going to a house over here that we're going to uh, deliver. We have an officer posing undercover. He's going to go over to the house. He's going to contact a uh, guy that's sitting out front. He's been sitting there for a while, like he's waiting for this box. And if everything goes well, they're going to do the exchange. And once the exchange is done, we're going to move in and take them down and um, go from there. At this point right now, it looks like the box contains about two pounds of weed. OK, we're set up in the area. We're just going to wait now for the eyeball to give us a signal when the takedown's ready. 
Hey, Chris, do me a favor. Once uh, you see the exchange, you're calling it, and we're going to move on you. Once you see it, you let us know, and we're going to move in. 10-4? All right, 10-4. We're set up to the east. So we're good. All right, guys. George is walking up to the uh, front door right now. Stand by. Does the door go in or out? All right. George has a package. Suspect's still on the front porch. All right, looks like he's uh, speaking with a black male up at the front door in the front doorway of the house. Still having conversation, hasn't ha passed it off yet. Stand by. All right, guys, uh, Rangers, I'm coming off the rooftop. Coming off the rooftop. 10 4 Tito. All right, package is passed off. Move in, move in. All right, guys, move in, move in. George is taking them down. George is taking them down. Move in. All right, 10 4 it's a go, it's a go. Go, the signal's been given. Move in. Get the house. Get the house. Come out here. Come out here. Come out here. Come outside. Now, is there anyone else in this house? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Check out. You got it. I'm with you. I'm right behind you. Come on over. Yeah. I think you're good over there. I'm holding on this. It's me down. Are we good? Yeah. Clear. Yes, I'm staying here. This box yours? I don't, man, look here. My father ordered something for the um truck right there. Oh, yeah? What came in the other UPS box today? That stuff been here, man. What was in it? That stuff been I had clothes, I had papers and everything in that box. That were delivered to you? No, no, that came from my grandmother's house in Hollandale. Uh-huh. Why would you accept the bag uh, box for travel? I don't... Man, look at uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. I don't know what's going on. I promise you I don't know what's going on. I'm sure. Yes, man. I swear to God? I swear, man. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Where's the other box? Basically, we're going to cut in the box, but we'll keep the uh, the shipping label to be able to show that he uh, that he accepted a box to a Travis, and uh, which is not him. Uh, there's nobody that resides here by that ad, by that name. He was pacing back and forth on the phone. He's been waiting for this all day, so he knows he already told me <clears throat> that you know the weed's his. You can feel the weight in this package right in the center. If you squeeze it, you can feel a big block in the center. And surprise. One or two. When you, when you pulled up in the car, what do you, when you walked up, what do you say? Oh, when I walked up there, I told him, I said, look, I live down here on 19th Street. Um, I got a package. It says it's supposed to come here. It was brought by UPS. Was, uh, so why did they take the your address? The dog, I don't know, man. I said, but I brought it here. It said it comes to this address. Do you want it or not? He was like, yeah, yeah, man. I need that. I need that package. So can you give me 40 for my trouble? He told me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, dog, you didn't even want to walk off the porch because of your, uh, your own house arrest. Right. How are you going to bring me the money? He was like, right, right, I'll right. get it to you. Okay. So basically, he took the package. As soon as he took the package, I didn't see anybody moving in at the time. Right. That's when I took him down myself. Okay. This has a bond. All right? It's possession with the intent to deliver. It's not trafficking. It's not a huge case. But yeah. bottom line is this. You need to be up front because you're going down for it. Understand. That's the bottom line. Understand. I'm not going to lie to you. Understand. The more honest and upfront you are regarding this, the easier it's going to be on you in court and in, in front of the judge. But ultimately, you knew what was coming here. It's, it's you messed up. You dropped the ball. Okay. I'm gonna tell you everything. I You're don't human. know. I don't know nothing about that. That box right there. I had belongings in them boxes right there. I had speaker okay, wires. Let me ask you a question. Everything. Why would you accept this? I don't know, but I know it's, it's, it's not mine for real. I promise. I promise you. I was. My life is straightened out, man. I don't no. have nothing. But one. But you're I lying right one, now. You're lying right now. The bottom line is, when I walked up to you, I told you I had the package. You looked at me. You said, Yeah, I need that package. That's what you said. You even said that you would pay me $40 for it. So don't sit up here now, dog, and talk about that you didn't tell me that the package wasn't yours. The package was yours. You took it. That's when you got taken into custody. Period, plain and simple. This is a situation. So the problem is, is that you need to sit up here and just go ahead on the man up. Yeah, it's mine. I was going to take the box. So don't act like it's not yours. To sit here in, on this on this couch and tell me that you don't know nothing and that you got nothing to do, that's crazy. You know that and I know that. Now I'm going to go talk to your girlfriend and I have to talk to her because this is her place. I got to find out what her involvement is. That's it. That's mine. Okay. She's not going out for nothing. I'll I just got to check all that. Come here. Get up. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Have him open the car.
got nothing on you, right? No property. Huh? Yeah, I know. I'm just opening the door. You want to change out cuffs? Uh, something ironic and funny about this whole thing. Found that he was wearing this rubber bracelet that says, my future is bright, drug free. And then on the inside it says, winners don't do drugs. So it's kind of funny that he's getting this, wearing this, and uh, his future's bright. Oh well. I really like working this area. I actually feel pretty privileged to get to work this district. It's very historical. Monument over there, the Battleship Texas, San Jacinto Battleground, Sam Houston fought Santa Ana, very historical area. And we just got sent to a uh, disturbance call, the trailer park. Forty's advising that uh, people are fighting. They're, she's afraid they're going to hurt her. Forty-three Frank Thirty, have the other unit step it up. Frank Thirty, are you under control? Get your hands out of your pockets. Stop. 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 Get down on the ground. You too, brother. Get down. Get down. Hands out. That's fine. Get down. Get down all the way down, fella, like I said. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Okay? Just stay loose, stay cool. <laughs> Don't Do you move. Badge? Get down. Do you have a badge? Yeah. I'm the police. Get down. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Lock him down. Get your hands back behind your back, bro. Get your hands back behind your back. <laughs> Frank, 30 units are out. We got two detained. We're under control now. I didn't expect my father to go psycho on me and my aunt. What store did he allegedly rob? Down here, down here, the people know me. He went in there, grabbed beer, stole beer, ran down the street. When? So he didn't just rob? Now. Just now. He just he just stole some beer. Yeah, he ran in the store with the beer. Well, they, they know that's my son. You know, I came Can y'all hold this? I'm going to go check on the trailer because yeah. whoever was calling. What trailer are you in? 16? 16. All right, just so stay loose. I'll be right back. She's giving him pills in here. Got him all up to go do that, you know? This is it. Sheriff's office. 3 door 29. I have it already. Hey there. You OK? <laughs> huh? You scared me. You're scared? Yeah. You OK? Come here. Come here. Can you sit down or no, babe? Yeah, he, he yeah. Does, I, I lock the doors and I don't let him on the back of my head. Yeah. And Paul, he, he double fist and start breaking out my window. Who's and Paul? It, Is Paul, Paul the young one or the, the older, older one? The older one? Does yeah. he live here? No. Uh -uh. So why is he here tearing up your stuff? Well, I, I was in the process moving stuff. You know, okay. I just didn't live here. Is anybody else here? No, just me and my disability dog back there. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I was, I was just doing a little bit of laundry so I could you know, get my thing ready to move. All right, you're okay, though. They didn't hurt you at all? No. Okay, do you need to get checked out or anything before we walk off? No, it's just his son, you know. His son didn't want to fight or nothing. Didn't but Paul wouldn't have that, huh? No. Uh, yes, ma'am. All right, Trish, hang on right here, okay? I'll be right back. Tell me what happened here tonight, Nathan. Well, me and my father went out in the convenience store, and he was going to buy a six-pack of beer. And he's been drinking. I mean, he has alcohol problems. So okay. He's, he's been drinking since 8 this morning. So he's been drunk all day. And, you know, I called my mother, you know, his ex-wife. They've been divorced for 10 years. And I'm just I'm just talking to her, telling her, telling her I've been okay. okay. I, haven't, I haven't seen my father in four years. Okay. So we insist we go to the store. All and right. I give him I give him five dollars to get himself a six pack, right? Okay. And then he he doesn't do that. And then I got in a rage, and yes, I deserve to go to jail because I ran in the store, and I grabbed a sixteen ounce. But when I ran down the street, the lady came down and said, "Just give me three dollars." I gave her ten dollars, and she went on her way. 
Okay. And I took my 16 ounce back home. And when I got home, it came home. Okay. It hit me in my face. All right. And that's when I tried walking away. And all this happened inside the trailer? Outside the trailer. Outside the trailer. And okay. Then, and then he punched out my aunt's window. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, Nathan, do me a favor. Way right here. Try and calm down, okay? Thank you, sir. And I'll be back in a minute. Thank you, sir. Okay. So what's going on here tonight, Paul? Let me hear your side of it now that everything's calmed down. Uh, I just went to the store up there, and my, my son, the lady came out there, and she goes, you know, your son just stole beer out of the store. Mm -hmm. I was on the telephone, you know, talking to his mom. Hey, and he comes back up there and tells me that he paid her the money for the beer that he stole. What happened to the trailer? Oh, they're down there, and Nathan was down there, and just, he was all drunk and messed up on pills. Okay. So what happened to her, her window and everything? Oh, Nathan was down there. He, he, one thing led to another thing. That don't tell me anything. Uh, what happened to the window? Specifically tell me what happened to the window. I ended up breaking out the window. You ended up breaking out the window. Actually, Why? Trying to get Nathan out of there. Trying to get Nathan out of there. Yeah. Why would you try and drag him out? Because he was in there doing pills. You know, he shouldn't have been in there. Huh. You know, I mean, basically, I don't know what my sister's doing, but she shouldn't have been inside there. Well, there's been property damage. There's been some assaulting going on. That means that some people have been getting hit. Okay. Well, got hit. Uh, well, I'm hearing a different story. So now you're saying that y'all didn't get into it at all? We hollered and screamed at each other. Y'all didn't push on each other, didn't hit each other. You didn't drag him out of that trailer. No, I didn't drag. No, he ran. <laughs> oh. He ran. Well, this is what's going to go on, okay? Your property, her property, whatever, okay? You're going to go to jail tonight, period, and so is he, okay? Because everybody's telling me all these different stories. I don't have any way to tell the truth. When we get in front of a judge, then y'all can hold court there, okay? But tonight you're definitely going to jail, period, okay? It's I'll be right back with you. Stay loose. Hey, tonight you're going to be going to jail. He's going to jail. And we'll get this sorted out in court later. But that's what's going to happen for tonight. Okay? Yes, sir. My spare time, I uh, do about anything I can that, that involves me getting out of the town, getting uh, down to the beach. I scuba dive a lot. I go fishing. I like going out on a boat in the middle of the ocean go surfing during the winter, do snowboarding, just about everything I can to get outdoors and kind of get my head out of work. We're en route to a residential neighborhood. A reporting party uh, called in and said that there's a uh, Hispanic male subject riding his bike in circles on a cul-de-sac. He appears to be under the influence of some kind of uh, drugs. They want us to go out there and check him out. A whole bunch of people. Ah. Come here, sir. Talk to my partner. Come on, bud. Talk to my partner, okay? What's up, bud? How you doing, sir? Yes, sir. You got any ID on you, anything like that? Uh, my, I just live over here. Okay, what's yes. going on tonight? This gentleman uh, earlier tonight. Who, who, which gentleman? The gentleman. The owner that... of this home. And he, he's the pool cleaner, and he's not, you know, he's part of the homeowners association. But what was totally, he kicked my family out yeah. at 745. Okay. And the pull hours until 8 o'clock and, and put his hands in my wife's face. I've got all kinds of, you know, okay. witnesses to the situation. So what were your intentions when you came over here? I mean, were you to, gonna... to talk to him and go, because we all live in this, in this area. I understand that. It, it was, it... But do you think maybe having a couple drinks and coming over here to confront somebody that messed with your wife is a smart thing? or? No, I mean, but you, you can talk to my wife right now. No that, problem. I understand that, but, it, you know, if you have a problem, you call us and we'll come over here and talk to him. But I don't think it's smart for you to, you know, to have a couple of drinks and then come over here tonight and, you know, confront this him. This guy was totally wrong. And, and I, regardless I, 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 of who's I would, wrong I would, or right. I would invite you to talk to my wife. It was, that's not a problem, but who's, regardless who's wrong or right. It was too much, bro. Sounds it like he made beyond. a mistake. We'll, we'll talk to him right now it and see what's beyond. going on. Just hang out against Sir, the car real quick. Hammered, is he hammered drunk to you or... Uh, no, I, you know, I really don't, I, I don't think so, but I don't know why he Good reacted at, at, at 7.40 right. when the pool yeah. was supposed to be closed at 8, and he kicks my kids out and disrespects my wife and puts his hand right. in her face. Hey, hey Larry, I'm going to ask you again one more time what, what happened. Basically, all I'm supposed to do is close the pool at 8 o'clock. Okay. I got there at 7.55. 
I closed the pool. I told everybody to get out of the pool. Uh -huh. And uh, his, I didn't even know it was his wife. I just, there was a woman there that was sitting in a chair talking to cell phone. And she got upset because I was closing the pool. Mm -hmm. She says, well, wait a second. My watch says it's only um, 7.55, yeah. and you're not supposed to close the pool to 8 o'clock, so why are you having my kids get out of the water now? And I looked at her, and I says, I need to close the pool now. I'm sorry everybody needs to leave, yeah, yeah. right? I'm sorry if you don't like it, but that's the way it goes. Yeah. You know? Come back tomorrow. You're just doing your job, right? I'm just doing my job. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry, you know, if you don't like it, call the homeowners association. And then what happened after that? All of a sudden, somebody's riding a bike in front of my house. My neighbor gets freaked out, mm -hmm. calls the police. And that's when we came out earlier. That's right. Okay. He drives back to his house. End discussion. Then he comes back again. I come out this time and say, dude. Was he riding his bike when you saw him? Again, yes. He was just doing circles right here in the cul-de-sac? He came out. Well, he knows my truck because okay. I'm the red truck that dr cleans okay. the pool. Well, I'm just asking. You With saw him riding the bike? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so all of a sudden he's back again, right? starting to start something with me. And I come out and say, guy, look it, I didn't even know it was your wife, first of all. Second of all, I did, wasn't trying to dis disrespect anybody. All I was trying to do is close, close the pool. Doing your job. I'm doing my job. That's why I have the keys for the pool. And he wants to start, rah, 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 and I'm, whoa. And, and did and he push you or? He pushed me, but my neighbors came out, and all of a sudden, you know, he, you know, but it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm kind of, come on, dude, I'm doing my job. Why do you want to get me in a fight over, and you weren't even there. Right. You didn't even see what happened. Yeah, right. and he's right. been drinking. And he's been okay. drinking. I asked him, that was the first thing I asked him. Or have you been drinking? He said yes. And I says, come on, dude, we don't want to fight. Yeah. yeah. All right, come sir, on. just hang out. So how much have you had to drink tonight? Uh, about three or four beers. Three or four beers? And you're out riding around on a bicycle? Yes, sir. Yes? What I'd like to do now, the last test is called the pulmonary alcohol screen device. It's not a chemical test or one or two required tests which are required by state law. Okay, so it's not a required test. What I'd like you to do is take a deep breath, see your lips on here, and blow as hard as you can, as long as you can. I'll tell you to start, I'll tell you to stop. Okay? Deep breath, blow. Harder, harder. Keep going a little bit harder. Very good. I didn't do anything. I'm on a bicycle. You decide to confront the gentleman that lives here. He's saying at one point you push him, okay? Yeah, You're yeah. intoxicated, yeah. okay? You should have never left your house and got on that bike. And if you have a problem, that's what we're here for, to take care of that for you so you don't get yourself if in you trouble. Felt that your I, wife I appreciate was, that. If that. you felt that your wife was disrespected in any way, it, it was just okay, over, you it, probably it was, should have called us instead of taking matters into your own hands. Showing up at people's houses does not solve any problems. I'm sorry. What's that say? 183. 183. You're the legal limit to operate a motor, motor vehicle in the state of California? It is. 08? Yeah. So you're two and a half times the legal limit if you're operating a motor vehicle. But you're operating a bicycle. That also is a misdemeanor state of California. Turn around, put your hands behind your back, you're under arrest. gentleman was like totally wrong with my wife. I, I I didn't do anything when I came over here. Didn't push him at all? No, sir. Did not touch. Okay. You're riding a bike intoxicated. I've had a couple of beers, but I'm not. You're twice the legal limit. Okay. But I didn't come over here and knock okay. somebody's brain out. Okay. All right, sir. You were arrested for driving a bicycle while under the influence. Okay. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, coverage code 3. Kingston. 